Good morning. It is Saturday, April 17th, and it is a beautiful, beautiful morning. So it started out pretty chilly. Um, I would say I woke up around 3 in the morning, and it was very, very chilly. Um, not below freezing, but pretty close to it. So I slept with my sleeping bag over my head for the rest of the night and was fine. Woke up this morning at 6.30, feeling really rested, feeling very peaceful. And um, yeah, and so I just left the campsite not too long ago. And right away I ran into like five deer, a whole family of them. Man, such an, it's such an amazing experience to just wake up in the woods and start hiking and see a bunch, a whole family of deer just doing their morning routine. Ah, trail life, man. Wonderful thing. Anyways, I have no idea where I'm going today, and I really don't care right now. All I wor worried about right now is I am going to try my hardest to stay in the moment, enjoy the beauty, and just suck it all in. And I'm going to take y'all with me, so let's keep on hiking northbound. And, of course, I will get back with y'all. All right. Hey y'all, so it is 11.55 and I've already hiked 10.1 miles. So that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so I was, the only water was at that shelter that that's a ways back. Uh, what is it called? I can't remember what it's called. But um, I was going to stop there. It's like 0.2 off the trail to get water, but the, someone left trail magic. There's a bunch of beers, oranges, candy, and a bunch of water. So I just filled up with that water and um, kept on hiking. And let me tell you, the trail is crowded today. 
I mean, this is probably the most people I've seen on the trail since I've been on this hike. But, it's Saturday. It's the shanties. The weather is phenomenal. Even though there's a chill, like a, the breeze is pretty chilly, still the weather is amazing. And, we are near the metro area, like D.C. and stuff. And let me tell you, it shows with a lot of the people I've been passing that I am near D.C. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to be like, That's all. Man, I just don't get it. I just, man, I don't know. It's That is that is really hard for me to relate. I just, I'm one of those people, man. I just do not live my life in fear. I have fears, but I don't let them stop me from living my life normally. Um... But I'm not going to get into it. It's just, it's disheartening every time I see it. That's all. But to be honest, almost all of the people I have passed are really, really nice, except for the few that are like, treat you like a leper. But I knew that was going to happen. I prepared myself. I knew the perfect storm was going to be happening today. And I knew the trail would be crowded. So I prepared myself. So it is not bothering me at all. It's just going rolling right off my shoulders down my back and under the ground all right well enough talking i am going actually that's another thing i i had to pee so bad and so every time i would stop to pee i'd hear voices coming and i swear for like 10 minutes i was like god i gotta pee but finally i got far enough away from the parking area so i could finally pee in peace um yeah so I am going to look, I am looking for a place, a little place to just take a little break. And then um, I am going to keep on hiking north and um, I still have no idea where I'm going. Um, but I will get back with y'all. All right. Hey y'all, so it is two o'clock. So I started around two o'clock. I always look to see where would be a good place to bail out. So I was looking and there is a camp store that's at 3.8, I think I had. And um, so I can go there and get water. And then from here, um, I think it's 5.2. They said there's a, a decent camp spot that could fit like five to six tents. And that sounds good, but it is early. I might get there way early. Um, and five to six tents means more people could show up there and camp there. Um, but it's not on gut hooks as a um, designated camping spot. And then I think they... There was another place like six miles, maybe six and a half, seven miles that had, you could get water like a half mile before it. And then it said there was um good camping past that. 
So that may be an option too. But I think I'm going to dip into that camp store regardless. But either way, there's some people coming. It's been crowded today. But I'm going to keep on hiking and I will get back with y'all. All right. So I was hiking and um, I was almost to that camp store and there was a um, maintenance worker, super nice lady. So I was talking to her, um, you know, I was stopped, started talking to her, thanking her for um, her, um, you know, service maintaining this trail because like I said, after I did that section, um, after Parisburg, that section that was closed off um, and just bushwhacking the whole time, man, I have... A newfound respect and love for the trail maintainers because man without them seriously we would it would be horrible it would be horrible so anyways I was asking her I was like after I got done talking to her I'm like hey is that camp store open she's like no it's not open yet and I'm like are the bathrooms open she's like no they're locked and the water's turned off she's like I just checked um and I was like man so someone wrote a comment in gut hook saying it's open the bathrooms are but she, I don't, I, I don't think she would be lying to me. So I was like, man, I was depending on that place. I was going to get some water and carry it and, and camp at this spot. And then she was telling me that there's Ivy Spring and you, it's a little like point one off the trail. But if you go down there, there's a maintenance hut. And she's like, you could probably stealth camp there. There's some flat spots. And I was like, yeah. And she's like, yeah, yeah, I think you could for sure. So that is what I'm going to look at. I'm looking at that. I think it's like two and a half miles or almost three miles, 2.8. So go another 2.8 and um, hopefully that spot's decent. Um, if it's not, then I saw in gut hooks, it said another 0. 0.6 there was a still spot, but it didn't say how nice it was or none. So, but I'll find something. I'm not too worried about it. I just need to get water. And once I get that water, I just hike until I find a spot. So no big deal. All right, well, let me get back to hiking, and I will get back with y'all. All right.
Hey y'all, so I made it to the Ivy Creek. This is the maintenance hut that that uh, maintainer was telling me about. And as you can see, no camping. But I'm sure that is not meant for me. Pretty sure it's not. I mean, the maintenance lady said, yeah, you could probably stealth camp there. I trust her. The reason is because the, the place is closed, so there's no workers here right now at all. Um, with my luck, tomorrow early, like at 4 in the morning, they'll open it and be out here trying to get... But man, I think I'm going to try to camp here. So, there is an old... There's a road bed, probably where the maintainers drive, but you can tell where it's wet. No, no traffic's been down it for a while. It's kind of flat. I could put a tent there. There's also a little shed back there. Man, this place looks like... It just looks like it was once upon a time a um, shelter, maybe. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but the water is just gushing out of this pipe. So there's plenty of water right there. So what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking about just putting my tent right there. It's not super, super flat, but I could probably make it work. Um, it's rocky. But yeah, I could make it work for sure. And I don't think anyone's going to be back here to bother me. And if they do, I'll just pack up and hike down but i don't think anybody will i don't know yeah yeah i think i'm gonna call this home for tonight um yeah so i think i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can figure out how to set my tent up there and um yeah and i will get back with y'all all right all right y'all this is my home for the night and i am camped at the Ivy Creek maintenance building. But here's the best thing about this spot. Look at this. Dun 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 bum bum bum. Picnic table. Long picnic table. Give you some perspective. Very long. Um little weathered not too bad metal metal wait yeah metal frame of course wood um seats and top and let's see pretty level a little bit over to the side but pretty pretty level man cannot beat this so tent picnic table spooky maintenance building and gushing well or pipe spring now here's the thing let me show you look there's a chimney Why would a maintenance building need a chimney? Man, this was a shelter. Are you kidding me? They ripped off a shelter and they're like, well, we'll turn one of the shelters into a maintenance building. Man, this was definitely a shelter. And because here's, yeah, there's definitely a chimney in there. And then um, there's like a grill over here. I don't know if you can see it, but that brick building. And then, I think that might be one too. Yeah. Man, I think this was a shelter once upon a time. And I bet that was a privy back there. I'm gonna go check that out and find out if it was a privy. Well, I am going to cook some food. Of course, edit my video. And, um... Yeah, and of course, I am going to leave y'all with some camp shots. And I will get back with y'all before the end of the day. All right.
Hey y'all, so I am going to end the video for tonight. So I ended up walking down the road a little bit. Um, so it started to rain. I was laying in my tent and all of a sudden I hear a car pull up and I'm like, oh no. And I swear I looked on this road. No one has driven back here for a while. And I'm just sitting in my tent and I'm like, oh man. And I'm thinking it's a ranger for sure. And there's this huge sign no camping right in front of my tent oh man so um i hear a guy say hello and i'm like hey and i start talking to him um and he's so what it is it never was a shelter um it's an atc it's for the maintenance um crews who do the maintenance in the um in this park so it's a little hut for them to stay overnight when they're doing maintenance on the trail so they don't have to drive back and forth to home and back so it's centrally located yeah and it's really nice like they're um it opens up those doors open up and there's like windows and um i don't want to show it because they're the the guys are there and so and they were totally cool with me camping there they had no problem at all with it so i don't want to push it and ask for a tour of it um because I think it's a kind of a th secret thing, but and those things are privies, but they're privies for them for when they stay here. So yeah, it's basically like a a nice um, shelter with bunks in it and cabinets, and um, yeah, it's, so it's really nice. But it has windows, which is nice. Um, so yeah, so that guy was cool. He's like, oh yeah, it's fine. You can stay here. I didn't think he'd have a problem because, like I said, that lady, that maintenance lady said she's the one who suggested it so yeah so um what did i i did 18 18.2 today that's good i'll take that um i know that's a nero for through hikers but man i'll take it 18.2 um and um yeah and it was crowded today super crowded but i don't know i still had an amazing day i still had fun i just didn't really let it any of that get to me and um even the people who treated me like a leper i'm I'm a walking disease rodent uh, but anyways um just to just to maybe a handful of people that's all but um yeah but but overall today was amazing super amazing so i am going to um walk back to the tent and lay down and Watch a little bit of dual survivor, survival, whatever. And um, I will talk with y'all in the morning. All right.